What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taste Test. Still in Seattle, still part of the travel series that has been uh, brought to you every Saturday here in the month of April. Hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm having a good time going out, finding the stuff, venturing around, buying stuff that I don't need, getting my bank account, being like, oh, you have this amount of money, and then the next morning being like, ah, oh, just kidding, that was a fluke. <laughs> you broke. Uh, and then being, and, you know, moving on, making to make content, not able to talk, stumbling over my words, getting all excited because I can uh, feel the anticipation, the excitement of today's subjects, taste tests, items, cookies, wafers, treats. If you'd like more of this content, this rambling, silly content, please scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos, taste tests every single Saturday right here on youtube.com slash Shaunasaurus Rex. Not just in April, every Saturday. Don't worry, there's a backlog uh, several weeks deep into the month of May, and I think even June at this point. So uh, hopefully, you've, hopefully you have been enjoying these, and we'll continue making them for you. Hell, I'll make them just for myself because I have such a great time doing it. Just like I had a great time walking around Ujimayas. We're still in the Ujimaya wonderland of fascinating things to uh, purchase and try for you, the viewing audience. Today is part number three of that adventure, and today we are going to be trying something I love. I love wafers. I'm trying wafers. I said that wrong. What I meant to say was, I'm going to be trying something I love. Wafers. It wasn't really that much different. Never mind. Moving on. We are going to try some cream wafers. Uh, wafers, I love them. I don't know really why I do. They're messy. They get all over the place. Um, they don't come in packs of normal size things. I don't know why that I said that. Uh, but uh, today we're going to try two different kinds of wafers. I love a strawberry wafer. I don't know what it is about them. I just, I eat them and I'm like, I would like more please. And then I've eaten all of them. And then there's just crumbs everywhere. It's a big disaster. Kind of like the beginning of this video, but we're going to power through because we love it so much. Okay, we have strawberry flavor and we have lemon flavored wafers to try today. Uh, these were, of the flavors I saw, these were the most interesting flavors. And this is right in my wheelhouse of like, here's a thing that's, you know, imported. It's from, uh, I believe it's from Japan. But it's something that I have a touch tone to. It's something that's like, okay, I understand what a wafer is as far as like an American wafer is. You know, probably very sugary like more sugar than anyone would ever need in their daily lives. But I get what it is. And that's where I find the most interest is the, the like, what's the difference in something I know? You know what I mean? That's what we're going to be doing today. Now, we have four single packs. I don't really know what that means. I'm going to try the lemon first because, as I have said in many a video, past this one and future videos, I've been in such a zesty, lemony mood lately. Because of the spring, it's in the air. Excited about it. I would love to get this package open so I can stop having to, like, talk, you know? Okay. So you get that. Bam. You get a little, little thing in here. Pull this out. Ah, and you got the you got a wafer. You got a bag inside a bag. Okay, that's good. Okay. You knew that because you read individually wrapped. Unlike the uh, the cookie one, you know how to read things sometimes. Something got, like, shifted. Did I move this chair over on accident? Not a, not a time to recognize that, you know? Maybe do better setup before... Oh, my God. These are the noisy... Please. Oh, my God, please. Okay. Don't go too hard. Remember what happened during Valentine's Day. I, and by that, I mean open this with too much strength. Nothing else about too hard on Valentine's Day. Okay, just move past it. It was a... Tell you what, go watch the Valentine's Day episode. Pause this video in a new tab. Go over, watch the Valentine's Day video. Watch all of it. See what happens. Come back to this video. Rewind 20 seconds, then play it, and then you'll be like, oh, that's what I got. I get what he's saying. That's what he means by too hard. Ha, ha, ha. What a funny guy. And then you'll say something like, oh, he finally got that open, huh? Took him long enough. Delicious lemon scent right off the top. Big fan. Excited about it already. Okay. Like a harmonica. 
Orchestra. I don't know what harmonica sounds like. Kind of blanked on it. I remember when I was a kid, we always we would get this v, VHS from uh, from uh, from the library, and it was Bruce Springsteen live. It was like an MTV thing that they did. I think I own it on DVD because my dad bought it for me. Um, and I was always really impressed with him playing guitar and playing harmonica at the same time. So there you go. Bruce Springsteen, color me impressed. Circa 1996? Seven? Now keep in mind, I was only seven, so it was easy to impress me. But still, I mean, take it for what it is. I remember, I think that one also had a double neck guitar that I really enjoyed. Again, you know, six or seven. Here's the thing. I do love things that are doubles. Double decker bus, double neck guitar, double tall wafers, double gun shows, doubles, which is weird because I actually like odd numbers more than even numbers. My numbers, my favorite numbers growing up were five and seven. I love a three. A triple decker bus, really. A triple decker bus, really the dream, honestly. You know, just a beautiful three deck bus. Anyway, let's eat a wafer. Hmm. So I think I taste the difference right off the bat. The wafer is just a regular wafer, and the stuff in the middle is is the is the lemon flavor which was surprising to me because I bit into it and I was expecting more of a lemon that's the, the, the that's the big difference right you go buy a Keebler strawberry wafer from here in America this the wafer and the cream are both strawberry so it's like a punch of strawberry right off the bat this is built differently and I think has much less cream in it because there is a very strong like vanilla wafer thing with like a, an undertone of lemon. Like a the lemon like kicks in and it's like, hey, I'm here. And then it kind of disappears and it's like, hope you enjoyed me. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely accustomed to the way the, the way of like a, a Keebler Elf or any of the other wafers that I've had in my life are more of like a, hey, it's strawberry. Hey, it's chocolate. Hey, it's whatever flavor it is. That's the whole thing rather than. The cream is different. You know, so hopefully you get what I'm going for here. So I think it's, I think based on that, I think it's hard to, I think it's hard to say something like, I just don't like it, you know, sort of thing. Like it definitely, it's, it's just a different thing, you know, just a it's, a, it's a remake, but it's not for you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, these live action Disney remakes are so bad. And it's like, just calm down. Stop it. Go watch the animated movies. No one took those away from you. No one ruined your childhood. Just shut up. Okay. Some of us liked, some of us liked it. Aladdin elements of beauty and the beast were very cool. Okay. All right. You can enjoy two things at once. It can be made for different audiences, different age groups. I don't know why this is the video I've decided to just defend the Disney live action remakes. Point is, I like it. It's not exactly what I was expecting, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's a knock because it's not, not for me, not for America. It's for Japan. They have, they do things differently over there. Okay. They just do. They have a Nintendo world. They are living life in the year 3000. They have a Nintendo world with like stuff you can ride. Okay. That was a good crunch. Someone's going ham with a chainsaw out there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Uh, by the way, not a chainsaw, like at all. It's a leaf blower. So, there you go. There you go. All right, so we'll put those down. They are good. I like them. Wish there was more lemon flavor, but that, you know, again, that's just a personal preference. Strawberry wafers, going to be the same deal. Regular vanilla wafers on the, like, outside and inside. Strawberry cream, going to be the difference here. We'll try and 
open this a little bit more effectively, I, though I don't want to open it too wildly. Yes, I do have to condense a lot of this stuff down, but I don't want to... Oh my god. Hello? Just try the other side. Just try the other side. No big deal. No shame in you not being able to open something that is probably made for children, you know? No big deal. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. I did it. I did it. Nope, I didn't. Are you kidding me? Perfect. That's not even... Alright, that's just the exterior. <laughs> Local man goes into rage because he can't open his wafers. Finds pen and just starts stabbing. This is the worst packaging open I've ever had. These have a little bit more of a, a smell to them. Just kind of, even just opening this piece of it. I didn't really smell any lemon. I wasn't really trying, but I, I didn't smell any lemon with just this part open. So I wonder if... It's just going to be one of those things where it's like, hey, the lemon flavor is there, but it's... Lemon's so, like, lemon's such a weird... Lemon and apple are the flavors that I think are the hardest to, like, figure out. Apple, soft, lemon, real tart. These smell stronger than the lemon. Really getting that strawberry kicking through. Also is, um... The coloring is a lot more noticeable. And maybe it's just because it's yellow with a tan, but, like, that's the lemon. I don't know if it's going to want to... Okay, hold on. I'm getting crumbs all over my laptop. There's the lemon. It looks, just off the just off the top, it looks like there's maybe more strawberry in it. Maybe the, the other side's a little better. There's so many wafer crumbs. Can you just focus, please? I have to stretch so far. Remember in middle school, I had to, why am I out of breath? Remember in um, elementary school, you had that little metal thing, and it was uh, like a, a reach thing? You do like that? I can never, I was never very flexible. I was also like short, so I should have been able to like get really high numbers on it because I'm like right there, you know, just kind of lean over a little further. Never very good at it. These smell great. These smell better than the lemon do because the strawberry is more potent. So I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's the same sort of thing. I'm getting a lot of the a lot of the van of the vanilla of the wafer. The kind of the maybe it's not even vanilla. You just get a lot of the wafer flavor. Kind of the plainer flavor. But I think the strawberry is more noticeable and lasts longer, but still does kind of that like here's a lot of wafer, some strawberry, and then the strawberry kind of disappears sort of thing. So these I think are better. Um, again, I don't, I don't want to knock any of them too much because they're just, they, that's what they make. Right. And you can, you can totally be like, I don't like the way they make that. And whatever. I think that there would, it would be a thing that look, if this was made in America for America, whatever, I think then you would have like, a, Ugh, there's not enough flavor here, but because it's from a different part of the world and they, do things differently over there bringing it here and having it just be its thing and the difference between the way like america makes a like a wafer and i, I specifically am thinking of the keebler strawberry wafers versus these is like they just make them differently so while i prefer the the one way the like all strawberries because i really like strawberry as a flavor i don't i think it's hard to knock these because it's just like this isn't made for you. Like, this isn't a thing that you need to, like, be critical of. Just let it exist in its in its thing. Try it out. Like it. Don't like it. Whatever. Just understand this is for different people. And you're the kitschy fucking dude on the internet 
being like, hey, let's try some snacks from around the world, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're good. I, I like them. I, I have a preference. I definitely have a preference to what I'm used to, but I think it's just more that I'm used to it. Not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Glad I bought these, and uh, I'm uh, thankful, and uh, hopefully you're glad that you watched this video. There's where are wafer crumbs all over my laptop. Because I decided that I would need to do this, like the makeup tutorial. If you would like more content, including more stuff from Ujimaya, we got more coming your way next week. Right here. <laughs> I threw more crumbs doing that. Uh, more coming your way right here. YouTube.com slash Rex. Scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next week. Um, have a wait for a full day. I got a cough. <laughs>